Good afternoon. Seems like I got a response from uh, Robert Blake on one of my videos. Now, of course, he doesn't watch my videos. But he's going to make a response. He makes this long response. He's going to do it Exodus 1820. Now, Chad Wilson, I believe that's his last name, Wilson, tore him apart on Exodus 1820. Blake was trying to tell you that it was God speaking. When it was Jethro speaking. And the whole issue is delegating, getting, Jethro wanted to have God, uh, 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 Moses, delegate responsibility. Even Ruckman's note says this was human viewpoint. This was not God. But this guy is so obstinate, so stubborn, he doesn't get it. That 1820 has nothing to do with salvation. So I'm going to let you read it. Let me go here and get the Pope the verse. A long, typical, like a form letter for this guy. Let me go here. But you can't comment on his videos. He'll come on your videos and comment. But you can't comment on his videos. That's how dishonest the guy is. Unethical. I'm gonna pull it up here. This is under uh, more Robert Blake at deception. Now, remember I told you. This video went here with a video that Robert Blake. He tried to deceive you to think that Paul was faith alone. Abraham was faith alone. David was faith alone. Everybody in the Old Testament was faith alone. Even Workman said Noah, <coughs> Adam, and uh, and Ab Abraham were faith alone. So here, under the New Old Testament covenant, we read Exodus eighteen twenty, and thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt show them the way they must walk. Who's speaking there, Robert? That's not God speaking. That's Jethro speaking. The way uh, wherein they must walk and the work they must do to stay in the land. And yes, I'm aware the context of that. You are. The way to keep bringing it up has nothing to do with salvation. And Deuteronomy 4, 1, 2 says, Now I therefore can hearken all Israel unto the statutes and judgments the way I teach you, to do them that you may live and go and possess the land which the Lord of God gave, of God, the Lord God of her fathers give, give, uh, give with you. Yeah. That's the Mosaic covenant, to stay in the land. And you shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish uh, or from an, uh, that you keep the commandments of the Lord that, you, that, that uh, the Lord uh, which uh, I command you. Yeah, that's the state of the land. The guy can't read. And in the New Testament, we Paul saying, but before faith came, we were kept in the Lord, shut up under the, under, to the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Yeah, the Lord was supposed to lead us to faith. But Paul also says, no one can be saved by the law. He was, he was going after the Galatians saying, why are you going to the law when the law never could save you? Now how do you not see what the Bible says about this? I just saw it. I just saw it. It doesn't say anything about salvation, Robert. Why are you so deaf, dumb, and blind? Keep arguing with God and the Holy, Holy Word, Edward. You're really doing a good job showing you don't know what the Bible says. Here's a guy quoting human viewpoint from Exodus 18.20, Jethro. Nothing about salvation. Then he goes to Exodus. Again, nothing about salvation. It's about staying in the land. Uh, now he goes, oh my God, this guy. Now now comes his form letter, people. Title, I love you, Edward. Just want you to get the truth. Blah, blah, blah. It's right here in the Bible. No, Robert. You can't read English. Under the Old Covenant, we read, who's speaking there, Robert? Jethro. That's what a Chad went after you at when you were saying that was God speaking. And it wasn't God speaking, it was Jethro speaking. And he was telling Moses how to delegate authority, not how to get saved. Uh, let's see here. And he goes, uh, you say one thing, the Bible says, no, no, I don't say one thing, the Bible says another, you can't read English. So the rest of this is film, uh, this not a form letter saw, but she just puts this uh, more, more spam uh, so you say faith alone every, every dispensation, but the Bible says not faith only, 
Not faith alone. Where? Where? Oh, oh, oh he goes, well, you know, he wants to go to uh, James 2. But you say one thing, the Bible says another. It's simple. Well, who am I supposed to follow, Edward? Oh, you are God. I have no choice but to follow God and his holy word. But you have no business teaching anybody. You're too stupid. You really are too stupid. You can't figure out what was eight, uh, uh, Exodus 18.20. And in James, it says that Abraham was justified by works, and I quote, not by faith alone, or by faith only. Yeah, the justification there is talking about justification before men, not salvation, because it also says in Romans 4, he was justified without works. We even see Rahab justified by works. Uh, no one's saved by works. You see what a liar he is, people? Those works, James 2, are before, are before men. And even Hoffman admits that there are two aspects of justification, one for God, one for man. So you say faith in every uh, faith alone in every dispensation. So he's fine. even Ruckman admits Abraham was saved by faith alone, people. Then he's got to do that whole thing. Well, his faith wasn't the same faith as our faith, and then he had to be, his faith had to be perfected, blah, blah, blah. But he had to admit faith alone, uh, uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. I'm just suggesting this here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 12, others be taken his power over you, and we are uh, we not rather. The guy's an idiot. The guy's an idiot. I'm just going to uh, uh, post the video here because this is the junk this guy puts out. He's so dumb. So stupid. He can't get over on Exodus 18, 20. And none of the dispensationalist salvationists, by the way, people, who believe in faith and works, use that verse. They're not that stupid. I've read their works. I haven't, I haven't seen anybody use 1820 because they're not saying, you go to the Ruckman reference Bible or the commentary, he tell you, Jethro is speaking here. It's human viewpoint. It has nothing to do with God. And he goes, yes, I understand the context. No, you don't understand the context. And Deuteronomy is about staying in their land. That's what the Mosaic Covenant was about. Blessings and cursings. Not about salvation. So I'm going to post the video. You can look at the video. What, look what he has to say. The guy's an idiot. And then he gets this whole thing. I love you, Edge. Get the hat with this feminine garbage. You don't love anybody. You're, you're a moron. And people get upset because so, no, this guy keeps constantly posting garbage. Who am I supposed to follow, uh, Ed? You a god? You're supposed to be able to read English. You can't read clear. You, you're deceptive. You can't read English. Exodus 18:20 has nothing to do with faith works. And then he goes to James 2, like every good Catholic does. When Paul is telling you, no, Abraham was saved, was, wasn't justified by works. Because if it's of works, it's not of grace, and if grace is not of works. That justification in James is talking about, it's not talking about sal it's talking salvation, it's talking about being justified before men. Showing that that man had a relationship with God. So he wants to believe that Abraham wasn't saved in, Gen in Genesis 15. He wasn't saved later to Genesis 22. Ludicrous. Even Ruckman says Abraham was saved in Genesis 15. That's what she wants to believe. Rahab was showing her faith. He was 11. Annihilates these guys. By faith, they did such and such. By faith, they did such and such. Their faith their works show their faith. So I want to stop with this up real quick. This is what you're dealing with. But you see, here's a guy who won't even, of course, he won't, he won't watch the videos. But he puts up a long form letter. A bunch of baloney. That's why I go after this guy. He's, he's probably one of the biggest, he's one of the dumbest guys. To use Exodus 1820, I mean, Chad took him apart on that. I think they split over this. When he was saying it was God speaking, it wasn't God speaking, it was Jethro speaking. And even if even you go to, you know, his pastor, you know, Ruckman, or where is his teacher? He says, this, he, you can tell who's speaking, it's about Jethro. Jethro's given Moses advice from his own human viewpoint. He says, yeah, well, Moses, you're going to get worn out if you do this. So uh, delegate authority to these people and everything. And they do salvation. 
soon as you start put this up. Amen. Thank you.